I don't see heaven, pray to see, I don't see rest And I'm not alright, I'm not feeling not alright I might pull a for the night, who gon' kiss if I die tonight Pussy boy might lose his life, take his chain and take his wife What's good everybody, welcome back to the channel Today we're out here to break down the Supreme Week 3 Fall Winter 20 release Which is gonna be highlighted by the advanced collaboration And that's just about it I think we're about to get into the time of season Where we see a lot of whack weeks come down Like a lot of the, like whenever there's not a collab going down I feel like the week is just not it When it's just straight lookbook drops it's just not all about that. It's not all about the hype. Like, we had Nike Week 2. We were supposed to see a different collab. Well, rumor was we were supposed to see a different collaboration for Week 3. Looks like that got pushed back. It was supposed to be with the Japanese designer. Someone, I forgot whose name it is, and it's very disrespectful, and I apologize. But you will see the image behind me. Uh, that was rumored to come out this week or last week, and it still is now no no official word on it. And that's also not an official collab either. It's still rumored to come out uh, from a, a certain source. Uh, but this week, we do have the Vans Club. As I said, a little bit of Penguin action going down in the middle of... Or towards the end of summer but still it's a very very hot out here i feel like you should have saved it for the end of the season and some people for some reason do like that piece today is also the day that travis scott did drop his his hamburger his burger his meal which we did go ahead and try out with the homies so we'll have that video for you guys tomorrow as long as a little special nike sb review other than that though oh we are restocking by the way slots for the group i know a lot of people have been asking me to uh, this is the final reminder wednesday at 8 p.m eastern is when it's going to be going down on my site make sure you stay tuned to the instagram for any additional info or details and any other additional lease info as we do it. it's most likely just going to be the password page comes down first come first serve boom 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 and whoever gets it gets in so hope you guys are ready for that we all so all the things we offer is on the instagram as well you guys will see on the graphic over here wonderful community we got going on oh uh, that cooked a lot of Foot Locker and leftovers for the biohacks today in store so without further ado let's get right into it and you know how we like to do it ladies and gentlemen we go from least hype to most hype and least resale to most resale so first up on the list we're gonna have the stay positive to jacart short sleeve top uh, probably the most whack looking item coming out does also replicate the same logo and design that did drop on a t-shirt from week one uh, That design was also used on a sticker actually multiple two different stickers if I'm not mistaken that dropped into three different colorways a piece if I think I'm correct. They're two different colors a piece, but overall, this color, this T-shirt just got too much going on. The branding is overdone. Nothing really to do with Supreme. Just says stay positive. I love the message behind it. Stay positive. That's the way to go about life. Not give a shit what anyone says. Uh, but then today is just not a good item right here. Dropping three different colorways: a red, a white, and a black. Uh, then we go into the Paris camo beanie, which really, really, really reminds me of a Palace beanie that dropped a few seasons ago. If I'm not mistaken, like about two seasons ago, has a very similar type of graphic to it, especially the beginning that says p on the back it does say paris if i'm not mistaken on the back on one side says supreme other side says paris uh that really looks very very similar to the palace uh font that did use previously on certain lookbook items but this piece is dropping in four different colors that match the skate deck you know the skate deck is doing numbers those skate decks are doing really really well i think the well the last time i checked was during week one i know the sets are going for like five six hundred dollars right off the bat each Deck cost 50 bucks, so you're making good money at the end of the day on them. Uh, these match the decks that might have a little bit more hype around it, but at the end of the day, I do only see about 20 or 30 dollars profit on it. And still, it is kind of hot out here, so I see it only going up towards winter. Once again, it's around 30 dollars profit on this one. Then we go on to the contrast stitch polo dropping in three different colors a magenta, a white, and a black. Uh, another polo shirt and you know how they do from Supreme they do very very bad not good at all and does basically just have Supreme logo on the left chest pocket uh, has all it's like inverted stitching basically where they show off the stitching they try to show it off instead of trying to hide it like uh, their regular pieces do uh, but once again retail this one's gonna be around 128 138 US dollars uh, then we went to the penguins rayon short sleeve shirt which for some reason I, I kind of do like I for some reason I, do, I love penguins I'm not gonna, I love penguins uh, they're, they're the dopest creature out there you know what i'm saying they're they're just they're just vibing in antarctica all by themselves on the lonely with some other animals out there but pretty much on their lonely uh and you got a bunch all just chilling with different uh, colored backgrounds you got red you got a white and a black i think the best one is a black one to go for along with the icy blue just because the icy blue does kind of emulate the ice and the snow down south uh but it's a round shirt lately round shirts have not been doing too hot like they were doing really really well two seasons ago just around that prime time and then all of a sudden people just stopped caring about rayons and weren't a big fan of them uh so that's why i see this one only getting about 20 and 30 dollar profit at the end of it and i see being a good quick sell item retail is probably going to be around 128 us dollars 138 just around there then we go into the textured small box crew neck sweater. It's more of like a sweater, not so much of a crew neck. They usually drop crew necks, but 
but this time we have a sweater which is kind of a rare sight to see from supreme on a small box logo design you got a few different colorways dropping you got a white a black a pink a navy and a green Overall, I think the best color to be to go for is the black one. I mean, you're trying to pull it fancy the Thanksgiving Christmas dinner. This is the way to go about it. You got a nice little button up, put the put the sweater on it, and you it's not look, it's not overdone. It's a very small logo. Uh, you can't be seen by everybody, but the red on uh, actually it's black on black, so that's even better. It doesn't stand out too much. And you got that green on green, which does hit really, really hard. That pine navy green, the pine green, I should say, probably one of my favorite colorways to see dropped in a box logo. Uh, then we go on to the side logo track jacket and the side logo track pants a piece two pieces i should say that i'm not a fan of at all however i do see some people uh, vibing with this jacket i don't i don't think it's nice i do think that tie-dye stuff however might do decent it does say supreme new york on the side international sportswear established in new york new york uh usa in 94 it's water resistant suplex nylon tassel with cotton jersey lining and taffeta sleeve lining full zip closure with on seam hand pockets and interior chest pocket uh, interior uh, elastic shock cord at packable hood with elastic cuffs and hem. It's actually an embroidered logo, which I didn't know. I thought it was screen printed, but at the end of the day, also not a big item to go for this week because I think retail on the jacket might just be around 168 US dollars. Pants is probably going to be around 138, 148 dollars. The pants might do well just because the fact they're embroidered and they do have some good solid colors. The black, the brown, and the navy do look pretty solid. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's just not too eye-catching it's kind of simple kind of plain which i personally do like however the general audience really out there does kind of like those big logos for the most part sometimes it's different it's a little bit different depending on the item uh then we go into another piece that is featuring the penguins uh graphic going down in three different colorways we got an icy blue a red and a black it's penguins hooded fleece jacket Oh, uh, they don't really drop fleece, fleece jackets too often, but this does remind me of some cozy ass piece. Does actually have Supreme Run on the back of the uh, jacket on the back. You guys will see it right here on the lower back of it. Um, but still, regardless, I could see it being a good cop though. This is a little bit of a better cop than Rayon, but I see retail being on this piece around 238 US dollars. Pretty, pretty expensive for just a jacket, but remember, it is a full fur item. It's polar fleece with a jacquard pattern and full zip closure. Zip hand pockets at lower front, elastic cuffs and hem with interior draw cord at hood, jacquard logo on back. Black color is probably the best one to go for along with the icy blue and then the red-ish violet looking colorway. Uh, but really, at the end of the day, I see it going for probably like 50 to 60 bucks over retail, uh, depending on size and color. And once again, every single item you go for, best size is small, then XL, then large, then medium. That pretty much goes for almost every single thing besides shorts and pants. That's excluded. Uh, as for lookbook pieces, that's pretty much the main part. But the top four items we're going to get into right now, we have the collage logo short sleeve top dropping in multiple different colorways. Uh, probably the best one to go over is black, navy, and white. But at the end of the day, also another whack piece that I'm not a big fan of. But it's an all cotton slub jersey with tackle twill applique and embroidered logos. Easy pass in my books. I think it's going to be easy pass for a lot, a lot of people unless you get a size smaller XL. Could be a bit of an easier sell. And this shirt does have that higher quality material. Therefore, retail will be a bit higher than the usual $38 retail. Bring it to around maybe $68, $78. Uh, plus shipping and tax does bring it to almost around $90 for a simple t-shirt. Remember also all orders that do come out to over $200 US are excluded from shipping charges. So absolutely free shipping for those. Uh, then we go on to the Futura logo keychain. You know, Futura is an iconic collaboration with Supreme. They dropped the t-shirts this week. They're still slated to drop a few more pieces dropping the rest of the season. One of those being is the logo keychain which is dropping this week. That does match the t-shirts that dropped during week one. We got the Brazil colorway, the purple on violet, the white on red, and the white on black. Retail is expected to bring on 14 to 18 US dollars. Uh, is it worth paying the shipping if you're buying this alone? I don't really think so. It's not going to sell out quickly. It will sell out eventually, but just keychains don't aren't a massive hit for people i like to wear in person like on the on the key ranks you know on the casual uh but at the end of the day they don't move too fast then we go on to the supreme pat mcgrath labs lipstick which i think is a fire item once again supreme really has an appeal to the female audience at a large scale uh, in terms of what they drop but this one is looking crazy this kind of reminds me of, like some off-white shenanigans going on they got the writing on the supreme logo on the actual box does have the lip on it looks very luxurious at the end of the day. and retail is expected to be around 78 to 88 to 98 us dollars just i should stay under the hundred dollar mark hopefully uh but it's gonna be pretty expensive uh straight up red lipstick they dropped a fire promotional video today on their instagram if you want to check that out uh retail once again is gonna be around 98 88 us dollars i can see resale going from 150 to 160 i do see it being pretty pretty limited in terms of the fact of how it will fly 
pretty fast online, I want to say. And in-store stock, I see being very, very limited. In-store stock lately has been very limited on a lot, a lot of different pieces, just because they've been limiting to each time slot to about like four to five different people. Uh, making a total of about like only 150 people per day that get to go in on drop day compared to what it used to be at around like 600 people. Finally, we do have the Supreme Mophie Power Station Go. One of the first heavy duty Mophies we've seen from Supreme dropping in two different colorways, a black and a red. Portable battery charger with wireless transmitter for Kai, Kai enabled devices, two USB-A ports, built-in AC outlet, and compatibility of jump starting a full size car. Built-in LED floodlight and spark proof jumper cables included. So yo, if you ever come in the troublesome need of it to jump your car, you got a portable one right here. That being said, it does do a lot, a lot of features on this one, but that's why I see retail being pretty expensive at over 150 US dollars. Uh, it's a heavy duty Mofi as expected. It's I do see a retailing for the heavy, heavy, heavy price tag close to around there. Uh, and that's probably the best accessory at the moment, but Risa, I just see being too risky. It's not gonna load on StockX, first of all. They don't sell anything with batteries at the moment, or at least most part, they don't sell stuff with batteries. Uh, so if you're a StockX cockex seller, you're beat out of this one. You're gonna have to sell it on eBay or elsewhere in local sales. Uh, now the number one item to go for is a Supreme Vance item. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the official pictures up at the moment. We do have some knockoff, I mean, some mock-ups, I should say, not some knockoffs of what it could look like, but typically Vance have been doing very, very well. They used to do bad, but lately, with the whole designs they've been killing it like the last ones i did with like the denim collection was doing crazy crazy numbers uh, i expect these to do the same not well it depends on the design but overall just the supreme vance collab always hits i see it being guaranteed profit so if you're going to debating on going for anything number one on your list should be the vance then i go for lipstick then i would go for i honestly would call it a day maybe the future logo keychain if you're feeling it uh the penguins hooded fleece jacket i can feel like it's going to be a sleeper and then a good sale in the winter but that's a pretty risky cop at the end of the day so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. A little bit of McDonald's, Travis Scott action going down. Yes, it's corny, but we had to do it to him. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.